it has been almost a week uh, since we started the program and finally we started learning new practices. <laughs> uh, we started with Opa Yoga. It's very simple exercises but very powerful ones. It activates your joints, your muscles and energy system. So, in the last couple of days, the program really took off. And man, it's getting difficult. You know, we're sleeping like five, six hours a day and always seeing Ardha Siddhasana. So for a couple days my knees were like killing me. But at the positive side, we learned cool new practices. Finally learned Surya Kriya and I love it. Also Upa Yoga is pretty good. And all the other stuff which like supports this. So I didn't come for it to be easy. If I wanted it easy, I would just stay home. But this is really great and effective. That's what I feel. And I was just blown away by the level of refinement the way that it's being taught to us, it's like, even if we tried to forget the practice, we couldn't forget the practice. After three days of practicing Upa Yoga, I did not have any painful feeling. I just feel totally amazing. Today, we were initiated into arm chanting. It's like really very, very powerful. Logically, chanting might seem like, okay, it's just repeating a few words or so, but after doing it for like 15, 20 minutes, I was like totally in a different space. I became meditative just by doing that chant. All the thoughts that were going on within me at that moment, they all just became so balanced. Sadhguru was talking about how that balance is very much needed for Hatha Yoga. And I'm really grateful that it has been added to our daily sadhana. So every day I just wait for those 10 minutes when we all chant the old mantra together. I feel there are vibrations throughout my entire body and that I'm vibrating with the entire universe, which is such an amazing feeling. Today is the first day that we learned Surya Kriya. And it's also the second time that I got a fever. And the doctor told me to rest. So in the afternoon, I feel much better. Like the heat was gone, everything was gone. And for Surya Kriya, I thought that I kind of 100% master it. Mm. But still, there's a lot of details that I also um, need to pay attention to. So it's good to relearn it. By the end of Surya Kriya, even though I noticed that my body was exhausted, it still felt so light and energetic at the same time, which is something that I haven't experienced before that. I feel very connected, energized and stable after practicing Surya Kriya. Uh, some posture is still uh, challenging, <laughs> but it's okay. I respect my body's limitations for now because I know one day it will respond and I will, I will be able to go beyond those limitations. Uh, but for now I'm enjoying the stretch and I'm trying to keep the awareness of the breath because when you are aware of your breath it really helps a lot. After a two hour yoga session, you know, we did Upa Yoga, we did Surya Kriya, and whoa, I just feel like refreshed, relaxed, I feel great. Also, I think the volunteers are preparing like a special dinner for us, so it's gonna be great. Let's go eat it all. Finally, we have the menu here. Today, we have pasta, uh, mushroom biryani and very delicious food. Oh my God, thank you so much for all the teachers and volunteers for this special dinner. Hello. Hi hey guys. Are you happy? Very happy, yeah, we have pasta on the menu. Going through these practices in uh, these wonderfully consecrated spaces and in this kind of committed atmosphere, it's really making a whole lot of difference. I feel more conscious, I feel more aware and uh, it's definitely helping me uh, like deepen my practice.